filling in the gap between episodes 3, Revenge of the Sith, and 4, A New Hope. We are here discussing the Rebels Magazine comic strip, Ring Race. Ring Race, by Martin Fisher and Bob Molesworth, is featured in the November-December 2015 issue of the U.S. publication of the Rebels Magazine. This story takes place at some point during the first season of Star Wars Rebels, likely after Episode 5, Rise of the Old Masters, and before Episode 6, Breaking Ranks. The crew of the Ghost has arrived at the Osissa Station in the Regani Sector. The station is owned by Gallus Vez, a basilisk who deals in, among other things, ship parts. In order to maintain the Ghost and stay hidden from the Empire, Hera and Kanan believe this is the only course of action to get the parts they need. However, when the crew gets to Gallus, he does not want to do his traditional deal with them. He claims that the Empire is doubling up on inspections, and there is just too much work for him to keep covering their tracks. He makes them a deal that Hera cannot refuse. Hera and Gallus are to race in his private race course, Fool's Run. If Hera wins, they get the parts they need, but if Gallus wins, he will take their ship and likely turn them over to the Empire as well. This deal seems too good to be true, which means it is likely a trap, and Hera is up against odds that are not in her favor. Kanan realizes this and, as he and Ezra look on to the course, is formulating a backup plan in case Gallus doesn't play fair. As the race begins, Hera is off to a great start, but it is not long after she takes the lead that asteroids start colliding right in her path. Though Hera may not know why the asteroids are behaving as they are, we can see that there are thrusters installed on these rocks to make them move as Gallus desires. Hera has taken some damage and sends Chopper to the back to fix the stabilizers. Kanan and Ezra have observed what is happening with the asteroids, and Kanan decides it is time to get involved. He, along with Ezra, reach out with the Force and begin to manipulate asteroids in Gallus' path. This slows Gallus down enough for Hera, who got a bit of an engine boost due to Chopper's quick thinking, to win the race. Gallus, having never lost in his own race course, decides to go back on his promise, while he and his henchmen take up arms and threaten to turn the rebels over to the Empire. But it is the crew of the Ghost who has already made plans on the contrary. While Hera and Gallus were racing, Sabine and Zeb were taking over his cargo area in order to provide some leverage. Gallus turns over the parts they need and lets the crew head out safely. Gallus does not want any trace of his dealings with the Rebels, and he quickly tries to purge his records. However, he is unaware that Sabine left her calling card on the outside of his station, which is sure to draw some attention. This comic strip was one of our first introductions to starship racing in the Star Wars universe. Overall, there is not much canon significance to the story. It is a tale that really captures the spirit of the early missions in Star Wars Rebels. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave your comments and questions about this story or any element of the Star Wars canon below. Till next time, may the Force be with you.